In the given circuit, the current flowing through the resistance 20 ohm is 0 0.3 ampere. So here 0 0.3 ampere is flowing. Okay. While the ammeter reads 0 0.9 ampere. So here it's 0 0.9 ampere is the current that is actually you know flowing through entirety. So if you see, you know, if you compare the you know both 20 ohm and 15 ohm resistance because the potential difference across both of them should be the same so therefore i can very easily write 20 into 0 0.3 should be 15 into i3 so therefore i3 becomes 20 into 0 0.3 divided by 15 so 53 is 4 so therefore it's 0 0.4 ampere so here the current which is flowing is 0 0.4 ampere so now how much current is remaining it's 0 0.9 here so 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7 so it's 0 0.2 ampere flows through r1 and the potential difference again is going to be the same so therefore 0 0.2 into r1 should be equal to 20 into 0 0.3 okay this is gone this is gone 2 so this is 10 so therefore r1 becomes 30 ohms okay so therefore the value of r1 is 30 thank you